Basically, the constellation worksheet assignment, you are given uh, constellations here, and it says name, zodiac, ecliptic, dates. And then you got 10 of those constellations. Uh, one, two, then you have some other ones here, three, four, five, six, and then the next page, some more on the next page. And then, you, and then at the end, you've got some letters. So here's what you're going to do. So suppose you're looking at a constellation here. What I want you to put here next to name is the name of that constellation, OK? So either it could be any of those Latin names you know, the, that we have. Uh, it could be Taurus. It could be uh, Orion. You know, so what are you looking at to see that? You can look at this chart to see some of them. Some of them might be here. You could look on the internet, Google constellation. You could look at some constellation pictures, try to compare them to mine. They're not necessarily going to be identical looking, but try to see the one that looks the closest. So you write the name of that constellation. Then next to Zodiac, I want you to put yes or no. Is that constellation part of the constellations of the zodiac? All I'm having you do is put a yes or a no. So which list are you looking at? You're looking at the list he's looking at here, right? Down here on the bottom, the, 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 the sheet that we just saw. If it's part of that 24, you put a yes. If it's not, you put a no, OK? Down to next to ecliptic, is that constellation part of the constellations of the ecliptic? So basically, you're looking at the same sheet, but you're looking at the 13, the list of the 13 here, OK? So for zodiac, you're looking down here. For ecliptic, you're looking here. And then what, I, what do I want you to put? Yes or no again. Is it part of the 13? So yes or no, yes or no. What do I want you to put next to the dates? Well, if the answer here is a yes, that means the sun goes through, those con through that constellation, right? Then I want you to put the dates that the sun goes through it, the actual one, not the false one that we've always been following, OK? So let's say it's April 9th through May uh, 8th. You say 4-9 to 5-8, you know? So this will kind of get you to recognize some of these constellations. It will also get you to recognize which ones are part of the 24, which ones are part of the 13. It will also get you to recognize when does the sun go through some of them. So let's review it again. Yes or no? Yes or no? If the answer here is yes, then when does the sun go through that, the dates? OK, what do I want on the second page? Well, some of them will have a very bright star on them. Do you see here? In the corner. That means that star has been given a common name by the Arabs. It has a common name, very, very bright star. Very, it has a huge history behind it. So in the second page, I want you to put the common name of that star. See where it says A? That's where the common name goes. So for example, Spica, Betelgeuse, any of those names of the stars the, that we have, Regulus, uh, Pollux, you know. So they would be these names, basically, the ones that are not all caps. Arcturus, Alfica, those would go over here, OK? Pretty easy to understand so far? Oh, it's going to be due today's Wednesday, the month, not this coming Monday but the Monday after. So you have plenty of time to do it. If you find you've done mistakes, redo it, print it out again, ask me questions. So don't rush through it, but at least get it started this weekend. Okay, let's get uh, started lecture three.